In this video, we will put our new knowledge at work and start the development of the home page of our website. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder and here I will open index.cfm and I will directly run that page in the browser to see how it looks like. So on the main area of that home page, I need to display the latest news present in the database. I need to display the title of that latest news some metadata, including here the name of the author of the news, and of course the news content right here. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder, and the first thing that I will do is selecting here that static content and delete it from the page, so I leave the home content div here completely empty, and at that location I want to display the latest news in the main area of that page. Now let's return to the components folder and in the components folder let's take a look at the new service.cfc component. In that component I have a couple of methods available to retrieve news from the database but none of those methods can be used to retrieve only the latest news. I do have this get latest news method but this method currently retrieves all the news from the database, not only the latest news. However, thanks to this order by clause that I have in the query, I know that the latest news is always the first row of that query. So I will add here one attribute to the CF query. It's the max rows attribute. Now we'll make that equal to one. This means that this CF query will only return the first row, in other words, the latest news. Now this is perfect for the home page of the site, but it won't work on the other pages of the site that are already using this method because those other pages need all the news. So I will make this max rows attribute dynamic and I will link it here to a CF argument tag. I will create an argument that I will call num news and that will specify the number of news that I want to retrieve from the database. I will make this a numeric argument, so it's a number and very important, I will make it optional, so required equals false. This is very important because the code that is currently using that get latest news method does not send any parameter, any argument to that method. So if I want those pages to continue to run smoothly, I need to make this argument optional and I need to provide a default value if that argument is not passed. And in that case, the default value will be minus one because when the max rows attribute has a value of minus one, in ColdFusion, that means that we retrieve all the rows from the query, as if the max rows attribute was not supplied. And of course, to modify that, I need to make this max rows attribute dynamic and make it equal to arguments dot num news. Now it's not finished because you see that this query currently retrieves the news title, the news creation date, and the news ID from the table news. I also need from the table news the news content to output the content on the home page. And by the way, I will directly prefix the other fields here with table news dot because that will make the difference between those pieces of content and the other two that will come from the TBL users. And in the TBL users, I need the first name and I also need the last name. Now to make it work, I also need to modify the from clause of that query. So I retrieve some pieces of data from the news table and I need to apply an inner join to the users table. Then I need to specify that on the new side of the relationship, I have this news author field and it has to be equal on the user side of the relationship to the user ID. Now I save the new version of my user service and of course I return to index.cfm, run it again in the browser because don't forget to pass now the restart app 
parameter in the URL to run the on application start method again and update that component in the application scope. So let's go like that. And now I return to ColdFusion Builder and I can create here another variable using CFSet. I will call that variable latest news and I will make that equal to application dot news service dot get latest news and I will pass a parameter here I will pass one because I only want the one latest news from the database now that the data is available to the page I can safely output that data so let's return to news.cfm because right here I have a CF output block that outputs a single news on that page so I will copy paste those few lines of code right here the only thing that I will change is the query from which the data is retrieved so I will just change here RS single news which is the name of that variable on the news.cfm page by latest news that is the name of the variable here on the home page so let's change that everywhere there we go so now if I save and run index.cfm you see that I do retrieve the latest news from the database thanks to the changes that I have made in my component